What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Stuffle community today is just around the corner. Let's go through all the event details and tips and tricks for the event. Let's get straight to it. Before we start the video, I just want to apologize for the lack of long content recently. I've had a really bad cold, so I'm still slightly stuffy. And as you can see, change of room, because um, I'm on holiday at the moment. So probably won't, it's not the best camera angle, but just deal with it. So sorry for lack of content, normal content will be resumed from this video when it gets uploaded okay so this event will run from the 23rd of april 2 p.m to 5 p.m pst so instead of a six hour community day it'll be a three hour or nine six for short and be back to how it used to be like two years ago so let me know what you think of that so it's only a three hour community day um this probably will cause quite a lot of controversy but let me know what you think in the comments okay so let's go through the event bonuses we have three times catch xp We'll have two times catch candy, so instead of getting three candy per catch, you'll get six. And if you're above level 40, you'll get two, it'll be twice, two times chance of getting XL candy when catching. So some great bonuses there, um, and some great medals that you can work on with those. We'll also have three times, three hour lure modules and three hour intense. And we'll also have one bonus trade after the event, a bonus special trade after the event, up to two hours after. So normally you can only make one unregistered shiny or legendary trade per day but because it's community day the bonus is we can make a bonus one so that is two also niantic have made a group play bonus so if it's if enough pokemon are caught by a lure module so when you put a lure module on a pokestop and it attracts more pokemon if enough are caught instead of three times xp by that lure module it will be four times xp so if you use lure modules enough the whole community uses lure modules enough then that will be a great bonus for us there. There will also be a box in the shop for 850 poker coins featuring 50 Ultra Balls, 15 Pinup Berries, Elite Fast TM, and one Remote Raid Pass. Literally the biggest scam in the world. Do not buy this. There will also be stickers in the shop featuring Staffle and the date 2022-04 for April and 2022. So there'll be, I think, four or five different stickers you can buy in shops or see through gifts. Okay, so let's get down to the events of actual community day so stuff all will have a 1 in 25 chance of being shiny and it will take 400 candies to evolve into beware so quite a lot but i believe with two times catch candy this should be fairly doable and you should be able to get like two bewares by the end of the day or three it should take about 75 catches of stuff all with or without pin up so this is on average to be able to evolve into beware so if you use the uh, quick catch technique which is where you hold down a berry tray and you spin your pokeball throw it and hit the exit button then this would be an easy 20 minute um, evolution so it shouldn't take too long to do later in the video i will get on to say whether this pokemon is any good or not and whether it will be good in battles or pvp or raids there will be a one dollar uh, special research for the community today called strong stuff in the item shop for one us dollar these are normally worth buying, I do sometimes from Google Opinion, rewards I earn the cash from. I'll be doing a video on that soon because it's a great way to earn poker coins and like, you know, these are 79p in the UK and I earn 79p in about two weeks on the Google Opinion rewards. So I'll be doing a video shortly, maybe in the next month about these. Um, so yeah, back to what it was. So it's just the one dollar called Strong Stuff and you get great, the easy it'll be like catch 15 stuff or, and you get like, Great wars like puffins and egg incubators and lucky eggs and stuff like that. So they're really good. They're worth buying. So I'd definitely buy them if I were you. Okay, so is stuff all any good? Well, it will be able to learn the move Drain Punch, which isn't known by loads of Pokemon. So let's say Machamp, it's best move Dynamic Punch. And Machamp is one of the best fighting type attackers in the game. So, will this Pokemon be any good? Well, it can only Drain Punch as its uh, charge move. And then Gyms and Rays will do 50 power, I'm quoting the website here, and 20 power for trainer battles. So, it will be an average attacker for both Gym and PvP. I wouldn't, I'd still stick with someone like Machamp. Um, I still think you're better off with that. But, however, Beware will. Be a budget, slightly over budget, um, fighting type attacker as it has got abilities to learn better moves in the future. 
Okay, so what medals can you work on during the event? You'll be able to, the best medals to work on are the normal type medal, which I've recently got platinum. So big shout out to you guys for helping me get there. And you can also work on the picnicker medal, which is when you use a lure module to help other trainers catch Pokemon. It's like 2,500 Pokemon caught by other trainers off your lure module. So that's worth going, as I said, it'll go up from three times to catch XP to four times to catch XP, if enough Pokemon are caught around that lure module. So those are the two medals you can work on, Normal Type and Picnicker. Okay, I think that's pretty much going to do it for this video, guys. So thanks for watching. If you want to hear more Community Day special events like next month's Community Day, let me know. I think they're quite fun videos to make. Um, so if you want to learn more about Community Days, tips and tricks for the event, stay tuned for the next one.